Welcome to the latest Libertas video. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at this custom bike leather gauntlet from Assassin's Creed Origins. Now of course if you are a fan of this channel and you have been watching, we did a whole nine part series on how we were building this gauntlet. Um, from that you will know that this is a custom leather piece that I created um, as I was anticipating the game being released. So went through the entire nine step process of building this thing, everything from creating the templates all the way to the final assembly of the gauntlet, you know, attaching the brass and all that stuff. So um, if you want to check that out, definitely go ahead. Um, there's a lot of great resources in the descriptions of those videos if you want to do something similar to this. Um, this, of course, is not accurate to what you see in the game. This was based off a lot of those cosplay references that Ubisoft had released prior to the game's you know, coming out. So around E3 they delivered this nice um, look at what Bike's costume looked like just so people could start creating their cosplay costumes. So that's what this was based off and it also takes a lot of inspiration from the statues that they were releasing for like the extreme collector's editions of the game. So that's where I got the inspiration for this and that's why it doesn't look exactly what, exactly like what you see in the game. Um, it is a nice leather piece. It uses three types of leather. Um, they've got this thicker double oak shoulder um, leather that is very thick, um, much more of an armoring leather. We also have uh, thinner leather for the buckles and then we do have a suede liner that also attaches the two pieces of the gauntlet. Um, other things that you'll notice is it does have some nice brass accents um, here on the top plate and also this overarching plate that also has custom beadwork attached there. Everything it uses either Chicago screw rivets or typical rivets. Then we also created a nice um, 3D model, um, 3D printed hidden blade um, that was used for this gauntlet. As I've noted in my previous videos that were showing off how to build this thing, I wasn't entirely happy with how this hidden blade turned out. The looks are great and everything, but just the functionality of it is a little lacking. So. I would want that to be improved, but nevertheless, let's uh, let's take a little closer look. Um, I'll get a shot here quickly of it on my arm. It definitely looks a lot more imposing when it is on physical arm instead of kind of this mush down area. But everything it does retain a lot of uh, flexibility, so it does conform to the arm. Even the way in which we attach the hidden blade um, allows for that conformity. So really cool. Um, we'll get a shot of it on my arm, and then we'll kind of wrap this up. So here we go. So here I have the gauntlet on my arm. As you can see, it's a nice scale, um, probably just a little bit larger than what you saw in Bayek's gauntlet in the game, um, but that's okay. I think it looks really good. Um, of course, the leather still gives you plenty of flexibility, so if you were doing something like parkour, presumably, um, it would be good for your arm. Also, one of the benefits of using this suede on the gauntlet is that it really helps retain it on the arm. There is no sliding around, so you'd be swinging around this on your arm and it's not going anywhere. So that's probably something that you'd want if you were a warrior like Bayek. Of course, the hidden blade is right here. Um, I just, I'm gonna have to do that. Um, probably a little bit longer than what uh, Bayek's was in the game, definitely, and then also larger than what it was when it was in the cinematic trailer. But I think it looks really good. This is a knife that you're trying to kill people with, so <laughs> um, it probably should be to this type of scale, but that's just my own opinion. Um, not faulting Ubisoft for anything, um, it's their game. So um, I like this, the blade the way it is, um, and you know, here I'm gonna try to, try to put it back in real quick. Um, so, you know, it works, um, but just not very well. Uh, but I like the look of it. I think it completes the whole gauntlet. And of course, I think this gauntlet looks way better when it's actually on the arm than when it's just sitting around or just being displayed. So um, definitely a cool gauntlet. I really like it. There are of course places for improvement, but that's always the case. So um, really happy with how this turned out. That's gonna do it for this video, taking a look at the Bayek left, left gauntlet from Assassin's Creed Origins. Um, definitely, if you are interested in building something like this yourself, check out that whole nine part series that we did the vlog on, how we built it. We'll take you through some of the steps that you'd be expecting to do when you're making a gauntlet like this. And then also have all those resources in the description so that you have a good framework of where you can go and get 
a lot of the materials for this. So that's going to do it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Libertas video.